Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial. This one actually isn't in Minecraft. This is actually a uh, Adobe After Effects tutorial. I just thought I'd show you how to do it real fast. It's like how to make shattering text. So uh, let's dive right in. Let's take our text tool. Let's put hello oh. white. Hello, everyone. We can just scale this up. Move this. Oh. There we go. Let's scale it up a little more. One forty. Okay, there's just stumble, stumble types. I'm using Bank Gothic. It's just a nice little thick plain text. So, this composition is 6 seconds and 19 frames long. Just if you want to know, it's black background. Simple. And so, what you're gonna wanna do is after you have your text, you can like apply a texture. Let's just take in this metal texture. And if you hit F4, it'll switch the uh, modes. And you can alpha mat it to the, your text. Then you can kind of shift it around. Kind of like that. Let's co color correct it real fast. Uh, effect. Generate. Wait, effect. Where is it? color correction and let's get a curves let's kind of bring up kind of you want it to be a bit darker well you don't actually want it to be this this is just you could just have a plain text for all I care okay so now that you've done that you can bevel emboss it or whatever you want to make your text look fancy but I am not going to make it look fancy right now. Okay, so after we've done that, in your effects and presets, you're going to want to search up CC Pixel Poly. It's just an uh, effect that comes with CS5 and higher, I'm pretty sure. You can just drag it right onto your text. And now if you were to scan through this, this is going to shatter. But that's not what we want to do. Yeah, you're gonna actually have to bring this down. You can see it just shatter. So for it to play this, it shatter. Let me go over the uh, um, settings real fast. You can make the gravity like a negative number or something if you want it to fly up. Like this. Let's make it negative five. Now for it to play it, it would go. I don't want it to go that fast. Let's do like negative one and play through it. There we go. We have this nice shatter effect. So you can also add like a glow, something to your text. Kind of make the glow a different color. Let's give it a nice blue color. No, that's not it. No. I don't know why that's not working. Glow radius, we can change this around. Glow intensity, move that up a little bit. Let's make this four. Uh, glow colors, AB. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Let's just keep it how it is, okay. Now I have a glow, and this glow will actually stay with it. Just to let you know, if you wanted to find that out, this glow will keep going with the little shards. <clears throat> now in the pixel poly, you can kind of bring down the force, and it'll kind of make it go a bit slower. Now if you bring up the force, then it's going to like stretch it out, and like pull it, like the force of the... Uh, amount of the explosion. So then let's bring the gravity actually down to like 2. 
you know, just shatter us down. And this would just be a nice scene for, like, an intro or something. If you wanted to, like, make the text fall down and then shatter on an exit. Kind of nice. So, yeah. You can actually bring this down, too, and it'll make the parts kind of stay together. Like, if you bring this up a lot, this is going to separate. It, it's how many parts. Like, if you brought this up to, like, I mean, down to, like, one, then you're going to get, like, a sand, kind of. It could be used for, like, a sand kind of effect. Actually, that'd be kind of cool if you had a sand background. How long am I getting? Five minutes. That's actually longer than I thought it would be. Okay. Well, that is kind of it. So let's bring... Oh, and you can change the randomness. You can just mess with the rest of the settings. And that'd be kind of cool. Sand kind of thing. Let's bring this, like, 20. Play through it. Yeah, 20 and everything else that I have here, I would recommend. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you, everybody, f for watching, and... Yeah. Thank you for watching. Um... Goodbye.